So hello, welcome back to our channel. And as you can see in our previous or latest module, we just uh, analyzed this circuit, which composed of two RNC type circuits. So there is R1, C1, R2, and C2. Values are as described. And then we apply the pulse voltage source. So it's like a square waveform which has a initial value and the final value switching between zero volts and the five volts. And then it has like a delay of one micron, uh, rise time of one micron, fall time of one micron, pulse width of one second and pulse duration of uh, pulse period actually is about uh, one second. So uh, we we have done this circuit in our previous model. So if you are just new, refer to that model. So what we did is we created a netlist of this circuit. The netlist is just about our spice deck describing how these components are connected to each other. So for example, R1 is connected between node I N and I N T. R2 is connected between node I N T and out. Capacitor is connected between INT and the zero, which is ground. And so C2 is connected between out and the zero, which is ground. And voltage source V1 is connected between node IM and zero, which is ground. And this is how our spice deck got ready. And then in our previous model, we executed this uh, spice netlist where we just uh, started with this command dot title devel rc ladder and then we ended the spice deck with dot end and then we then uh, performed the transient or time domain analysis or simulation of this circuit now for the same circuit in this model we are going to do the ac analysis of it so what do you mean by AC analysis? We basically have the same circuit, which is composing of R1, C1, R2, C2. And instead of uh, DC voltage source or pulse, which is a time bearing voltage source, we will apply a small signal AC voltage source. I repeat, we will apply a small signal AC voltage source. So we'll apply a small signal AC volt of one volt and then with that, with respect to that, we will see uh, how the output varies. Output in the sense, it's gain, it's uh, magnitude and the phase of the signal at this node will vary with respect to the applied input, which is an AC, small signal AC one volt. So this is called as AC analysis. So essentially we are going to obtain the Bode plot, which is the plot of how the output magnitude varies with respect to frequency and how the output uh, phase will vary with respect to frequency. So there are these two plots. So we'll perform now the uh, AC simulation of the same circuit. So for that, we need to just little bit change our uh, netlist. So let me show you the netlist that I have written here. So you can see that I have kept the title same, that is title dual RC ladder, or I'll just simply say title RC, whatever the name you want to give. Then there is this uh, asterisk sign indicates it's a comment section. That's the file name uh, saved as uh, RC, RC, AC dot CIR. I don't want that. So I will, because I have saved the file name with this name, RC dot CIR. And so what I have done, file and then save as, and then in the folder of my choice. So for example, here uh, you see that all files, uh, I have this file that is, which is a .cir file. Okay, so I have already saved it with this name RC. So I will just save, it will ask me to, do you want to replace it? Yes, okay. So I have saved, saved it, but just remember this file you have to save in the bin folder. So we have explained this concept in the previous session. So in my local disk drive D, I have extracted the ng-spice uh, files from the zip into this folder. And that extracted file is spice64 folder. 
and inside spy 64 there is a bin folder in the bin folder i have i'm going to save my executable dot sp or dot cir file which is a spice tape okay so okay so once uh, i put some comment i describe the title then next line is i am telling r1 is connected between the two nodes int and in so here is that int and in value of it is a 10k so here it is 10k then i say that okay i have a voltage source v1 which is connected between in and zero so in and zero and it has a dc value of zero volt so of course i am going to apply and perform the ac simulation so dc value is set to be zero so that's why dc equal to dc and zero then i am saying it is an ac voltage source which has a value of one volt so ac and one and then i can ignore this pulse this sentence I can delete, okay, this part of the sentence or part of the command I can delete or I can just keep it because uh, while running the AC simulation, this transient uh, part of the voltage source will not be considered, will be ignored. Only this AC equal to one will be uh, understood by the SPICE simulation, NG SPICE. Then I say R2 is connected between node out and INT with a value of 1k. So you see R2 is between INT and out. I can also say it is connected between out and INT because it has no polarity. It's a register. Then C1 is connected between INT and zero, right? This line, this line. Then C2 is connected between out and zero, which has a value of 100 nano. So this is how I describe my title uh, with a comment. Uh, any comment I can do, do that so I can also write here okay this is an AC analysis analysis I can write it remember just to put this asterisk sign so that it will be understood as a comment then in the previous uh, module when we performed the transient analysis as you can see that we just ended the spice deck with the dot end after we finished the interconnection of the components and then we call this file in the ng spice uh, we just open the ng spice in the previous model as shown right here and here we just said that source and we type the name of the file uh, and then it called that file it loaded that file and after loading the file, it then we wrote that, okay, perform the transient analysis. So we provided syntax for transient analysis. Similarly, we can do it for the AC analysis also. So we will first say, uh, let me save this file first. Save it. And then I will just, what I'll do, I will open, uh, how I open this ng spice uh, from the folder, I have already explained in the previous model. So refer to that. So now I will say, okay, source, name of the file I know, it is stored in the bin folder dot CIR. So I can do the same for this. Oh, it is directly plotting me the output signal because I have carried out this uh, initially before showing you. Let me just quit it first and let me open it for you again. So here is my ng spice. So I execute this. I will ignore this. Uh, error that is coming on my computer i don't know why it's coming but now it is as shown and now what i'll do uh well uh it is plotting me uh, those plots directly uh why because you see uh as compared to the transient analysis spice deck this is an ac analysis spice deck i have also included the ac simulation command and the plot commands in my spice deck itself and then i ended the spice deck unlike this section here okay so that's why when i will load the file i will have this analysis automatically performed this is the ac analysis and i will also have the plots automatically on the screen okay so if you don't want to do that what you need to do is uh, just delete these lines and then end your spice deck just like you did in the transient simulation and then those commands i just deleted you have to type one by one right here but you can simply prefer them now so i do undo now here so i let it 
be there. So I what I'll need to do is that there is one command dot control and then dot end control that that is dot end C. So in between dot control and dot end C, I am going to tell the ng spice to perform the AC analysis. So and then you got uh, then I'm asking it to plot the decibel that is the gain, uh, the magnitude I have that is at the output node i will have the signal and i am asking it to uh take the decibel plot the db of that magnitude similarly i am asking here to plot the phase of that magnitude okay so this command asking ng spice to plot the decibel uh, version of the magnitude and here asking it to plot the phase of the magnitude and then you end the spice deck okay so let me just save it here and once that is done, here you can see that source rc.cir and that's it. So for the circuit, uh, you actually can see that I have got two signals. So the first part is like is the decibel. That is the gain is zero dB because it's a passive circuit. As you can see that we have in the schematic I just showed, we have two sections of RC, R1C1 and R2C2, and we don't have any gain providing element, they are just passives. So the gain is zero at DC, and then somewhere here like 3 dB point at 10 Hertz, uh, we have 3 dB point, that is the first pole in the circuit. Here somewhere we've got the second pole at one kilohertz. And this is how the, gain in decibel varies with respect to frequency. This is the logarithmic scale. Here the phase also starts with the zero degree and then at 3 dB you have like some certain value of phase and then it is uh, showing how the phase varies with respect to frequency. So this is how you see the how the ng spice comes handy in plotting those signals and we analyze the AC simulation of this circuit just now. So fantastic. If you want to decorate uh, your spice plot, for example, making these lines uh, bold, uh, you know, and little bit uh, decorative, also about uh, uh, making the axis adjustment like Y axis and X axis. So let me show you the NG Spice home page. What you can do here, uh, well, right here you see now these plots are there same plots we just plotted okay and here you put some labels on the y-axis on the x-axis uh, and then you can understand more better so for that you can follow uh, these additional syntax right here so in between dot control and dot nc you have the same line of asking it to perform ac analysis and then set type decibel out plot VDB of out, then X limit 1 to 100K, Y label is like this, then set type phase out, plot CPH out, X limit and all those things. So you just have to, and then let I out D equal to 180 divided by pi into CPH out and all these things. So what you can do, I will just copy this, control C and I will do paste that right over here in my spice deck and then i will just say save so how you can understand these uh commands you can refer to the manual by clicking here you can get the syntax there now you see i have saved my file and then on ng spice i will close these two lots and then on the spice uh, ng spice i will call the load the file again rc.cir and we'll see ah well i got the similar plots uh, again uh, right here oh there are like uh, more plots here but uh, yeah but you can see now the phase uh, and the oh there is phase in rad here is a phase let me show see again how it goes is that uh, correct uh, yes i think i have the same uh, version here so i will just load it ah here we see now 
So you have phase with respect to frequency. There is a axis mention. This is your phase in rad actually. Okay. Uh, here you don't have that mentioned here. Okay. In radians. And here you've got this your gain. Oh. Yeah, here you got the small signal gain with the label. And you see now you can have the labels and uh, X is adjusted with the labels right here. Okay, so I think, uh, I hope you found this video useful uh, and you understood how to perform then AC analysis of your uh, SPICE deck. Uh, if you have uh, some comments, put in the some comment section box and uh, share it with others for a wider reach and with this uh, i just hope you can have some exercise about let's say instead of r and c uh, you can have a c and r just swipe the positions of r and c uh, that is an exercise for you so have two sections of r and c but now in the schematic just swipe the positions instead of r place c and vice versa and then repeat the transient analysis and the AC analysis, that is a body plot, and uh, have your results, uh, put your results in the comment section. So, till then, wish you happy learning.